Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Anastasia Basenka and I'm 38 weeks pregnant today and so that's time to pack my hospital bag. So um, my doctor, uh, as I'm new in Canada, I, yeah, I don't know what to take and it's my first labor, yes, my first baby. Um, I don't know actually how this all system works. So um, I asked my um, gynecologist, yeah, my LB, what should I uh, bring to the hospital? She gave me this list for mom's stay, yeah, for baby stay, for partner stay. Yeah, and so uh, we're gonna, um, uh, I'm gonna pack my bag, my hospital bag according to this list. So I, basically I'll try. Um, okay, so um, my neighbor gave me, gave me this um, diaper bag, yeah, run sack, and it's actually really cute with lots of um, things, yeah, for babies, yeah, for bottles, for um, um, diapers, and so on. So uh, I decided that I, uh, for my baby, I pack uh, this diaper bag, and I guess everything will uh, fit. So, um, first of all, I guess the main um, things are diapers. I bring, um, not, I, I'll pack a few, yeah, because I just, I don't know, maybe they provide us with something, I don't know, <laughs> yeah, and um, pad. So, uh, here they call it pads for uh, puppies, but um, I don't know why. Like in my country, uh, they are used for children, yeah, for uh, changing children. So uh, I pack this one of the area here. Yeah, then of course um, uh, wipes. I got this on Amazon and diapers as well, so I can uh, leave the all the links. Uh, in the description, so I bought a, a whole box of wipes, and I guess that will be enough for the next year. Um, okay, the next one is this like medical kit, also from Amazon. Like contains some scissors, um, a thermometer, yeah, some stuff for the baby. And so I find it very useful and I guess that I also take it with me, maybe in just in case. Um, pacifiers, I bought two, yeah, so for sure, I don't know if I use it, if my baby like it, but still, yeah. Then um, a hat. Yeah, I had socks and mittens, so white. I love white. I don't know, maybe they will be dirty, but still. <laughs> um, yeah, so the swaddler in this variant, I really like it. I guess it's very comfortable to swaddle the baby, to put uh, back to sleep. Then, um, as for clothes, I um, pack these like two onesies, and I guess that will be enough, like for him to stay uh, there and to go home. I don't want a lot of clothes packing. Um, the blanket. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure, uh, we don't want to wash our baby um, in the hospital, we want to do it at home, but just uh, at hospital they may just pet him, yeah, so, um, but it says here that like we need to bring one receiving blanket, but um, maybe that will be uh, like the towel, yeah, the towel for the baby, and of course, the blanket, yeah, because we are delivering, uh, we're gonna have baby in February, yeah, or in March, <laughs> the beginning of March, yeah, so it is, uh, it will be cold still, so we need the blanket. Uh, for our 
car seat and sure yeah we need this warm thing for the baby yeah to go home going home outfit and of course car seat yeah car seat for uh, him to be able to fit in the car yeah his own place in the car yeah so that's it so the bag is almost full that's it for the baby and so for mom's day i decided to bring a suitcase <laughs> because there are a lot of things to bring and so i'm gonna pack a whole suitcase for my stay yeah and for my partner's stay for my husband i'm gonna bring from the huge one it's like my gown my fluffy cozy and super cute gown is i can use it as a blanket if in case it will be uh too cold in the world so it's like almost the half of the suitcase <laughs> yeah then um some um maternity clothes for fitting i bought this like it's like a nightgown i bought this uh in um walmart yeah it's super cute and super cozy good to skin yeah and it has um buttons so i can unzip and like un unbutton yeah and feed my baby and it's super cute yeah so uh, of course i'll bring some uh, nursing bras like i uh, bring two as it says in this uh, list yeah but um and of course some underwear yeah but um i'm not sure that i'm gonna use it yeah use them because i don't really like them <laughs> but um we'll see we'll see we need to bring them like anyway uh yeah so as for my um postpartum experience yeah uh, i decided not to take um not to use um pads just like long pads or maxi pads i decided <laughs> i decided to buy this um underwear yeah this disposable underwear and it's like around uh, 12 of them yeah not a lot but still like for the first few days i guess they are good yeah so they look like this yeah and i guess they are much better yeah much better than just simple maxi pads but um still i, I have maxi pads and i'll use them i guess at home but at hospital i'm gonna use this okay so uh of course my makeup toiletries shampoo uh, shower gel yeah and so on yeah of course that's <laughs> the most essential thing for me yeah as a woman so i want to look pretty and of course when i'll be discharged from the hospital i also want to look pretty when I go home and uh, of course some snacks some uh, here I bought some dry fruits yeah also maybe something else some uh, granola bars and so on yeah so to keep myself um, hydrated also I'm gonna use some water I'm gonna have a lot of water uh, and uh, snacks because I, i'm not sure if they fit actually in the hospital and um, uh, i'm not sure if i like that food and if it be enough uh, for me yeah so i guess that's all yeah um of course uh the uh, phones the gadgets the um headphones yeah the uh the my airpods yeah so of course <laughs> take that as well so um that's it that i'm gonna pack uh, in my hospital bag maybe have some suggestions maybe you had already had such experience in canada so please comment below what else should i bring as a first time mom to the hospital uh, to deliver my baby in canada thank you all for watching this uh, video for watching this vlog i appreciate it and I'll, uh, I'll appreciate your likes and comments and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.